What's up guys, it's number 12 of the Road to Ruin. So that's obviously going to put the classic kit on because at the moment we're getting a bit bored of the uh, home and away kit. So we're going to try something different. There isn't much of a difference, but uh, we're going to add someone to the checklist as the second informed Tauri Cedes came out this week. We're going to enter the checklist and hopefully we're going to be able to sign him very, very soon. So we're going to go into our first game of the episode and it is in Division 3. So we are going to be a lot more difficult now. So we're going to add a little reward thing just to help us out a little bit more with the signings, of course. And if we ever get a hat trick, we are going to add 5,000 coins to this account so I think it'd be a nice thing for the uh, series just to have that little incentive to help bring on the signings and to help this series move along so we're going to get to the game and we come in against like a Bosnian and then Nigerian hybrid not much chemistry and that was the only goal there from Destro of Lorenzo with the cross and a 1-0 win it's not too bad at all obviously getting the win is the most important thing it's not the most entertaining thing in the world but uh, we've got two games remaining now and we need about five points so hopefully we can get a couple of wins in these next two games so we're going to our next game and we come against a pretty cool looking league of bba side got a lot of uh, team of season players and a neymar so we go into the game and leich does kick off the scoreline there in the 77th minute of the match a couple of heel to heel and puts it into the back of the net and it's another one nil win so we get in the results it's just not that entertaining for you guys obviously the one goals and didn't much happen in the game i think uh, the stats weren't too much so we're going to need two more points so we're obviously going to need to win that next game and if we are going to win this game it is going to be very difficult so we're going to have to see how we do in the next game especially when we are playing Borrelio and not the second informed Destro so we're going to the game and we're coming against a 3-5-2 Serie A side and he does start the game with a nice goal there in the ninth minute of the match though uh, Di Natale I was going to say Del Piero but it's uh, Di Natale of course makes it 1-0 there but then a really ridiculously stupid header I don't know why his goalkeeper didn't just like punch it out or something just completely left it and that it does make it one all in the game but then just before half time a bit of unlucky from a defender how he missed the uh, kick and for some reason I brought the goalkeeper out and he just completely missed it there but then we do reply here in the 71st minute of the match putting it into the back of the net to make it 2-2 in the game with Jovino he's a really good player I must say we paid about 400 coins with Jovino and he's just been banging in goals with this absolutely fantastic pace and dribbling and then in the 90th minute of the match we were one minute away from getting a point from the game. I don't think the point would have been that much use anyway. So unfortunately we lose this game. Meaning we only get promotion and we don't get the title. So we miss out on a few coins here and there. But overall... The game was okay, we were playing against a very strong Serie A side, so 3-2, um, not the best of scoreline, but we get the 7,200 coins. And we're going to make a signing, and it is the second informed Tarasid, as we added at the start of this episode. Because so many people are pulling in packs as um, he's quite a low rated inform, we are going to get quite a few in the uh, pack. So we pick him up for just under 10,000 coins there, and we do tick him off the checklist, and his first inform as well. And it's actually really great that he got that second inform, because it's actually cheaper than the first inform, so um, I always like that to happen. Maybe another one of these Roma players like Pjanic or something can get an inform, we'll have to see. So we're going into our next game, and it is against a nice Bundesliga side with uh, Kadira. He says it's a German team, but he's got uh, Mandzukic up front, so it's a Bundesliga team with Kadira, and unfortunately, he does kick off the scoreline there in the fifth minute of the match. Very lucky how... Um, my defender completely missed the ball. And then obviously yeah, my keeper parried it straight to Mandzukic to make it 1-0 in the game. But then we do reply here in the 11th minute of the match. Pjanic with the header to reply in the 11th minute of the match to make it 1-0 of course. And then in the 20th minute, 10 minutes later, Jovino going through with his pace. And doing a nice fake shot there. Put it into the back of the net. A really nice goal from Giovini. It actually surprised me when I did that. Because I didn't expect it to go down so well. And the keeper was absolutely stunned. And then we do make it 3-1 here. Kind of lucky how his keeper like jumped onto his defender's feet. And he puts it into his own net. So a little bit unlucky from his off. But then we get a little bit unlucky here. Poor clearance from... Bidisso, and then we were playing Le Bon in this game as De Sanctis is quite low on fitness and I'm not quite sure if I'm going to use uh, Le Bon ever again because he's just so short and he's just not that best of a goalie so we do win a penalty here in the 85th minute of the match to seal the win in the game to make it 4-2 of course and with these three points it is very valuable as it does kick us off very nicely in the next division I believe we're in division three now I think we got the division four uh, promotion in the last uh, game so yeah we're only one goal away from a hat trick with Destro as well so that would be very nice because obviously the 5,000 coins will be very useful for this series so we're going to another game and uh, we do come against a pretty good side I believe in this next game yeah he's got Ronaldo, Neymar, Xavi, Iniesta at this point of the game pretty much everyone's got uh, a really really good side so we head into the game and Ronaldo does kick off the score and then the 26 minute of the match with his absolutely fantastic heading ability of course so then we do reply here in the 38th minute of the match uh, nice short corner and then Destro at the near post Puts it into the back of the net to make it 1-0 in the game to get us back into it. And then 
in the 50th minute of the match, De Rossi just like walks it into the box and then we do a nice ball to the back post and Light with the really nice uh, diving header makes it 2-1 in the game and I believe he doesn't have the best of heading ability, he is a really really good player and uh, not many people use him, I've barely seen him use in uh, this year's Ultimate Team and it's quite a shame because Light is a really really good player. So. We do make it 3-1 there, Destro with a nice finesse shot, of course. And then we pretty much sweaty goal it in the 90th minute of the match, just so we could get a hat-trick with Destro, meaning we can send over 5,000 coins, and that will help along with the signings, of course. And it's really cool when you do win these games like 4-1, 5-1, 6-1. It just builds up the confidence, and it means you can go into the next game with a lot of uh, confidence in you, and you can win more games. So we're going to just trade over a few bronze players, just so we can, in the future, just list those up for 5k, and send over the coins very quickly. So we send over the 5,000 coins. There is obviously a bit of tax here and there, but I'm not too bothered. The 5,000 coins would be very useful indeed. So we're going to go into a final game of the episode. It's against a 4-1-2-1-2 Liga BVA side. He's got some pretty strong players here and there, like Diego Costa, Sergio Ramos, and Courtois. And we go into the game, and in the 24th minute of the match, Sergio Ramos with the header makes it 1-0 in the game. So a little bit of an unfortunate way to kick it off. And then unfortunately here in the 37th minute, Jordi Alba with the cross onto Diego Costa's head to make it 2-0 in the game and we were pretty much backtracking for him here. It was really difficult for us to get back into it but we do actually get a goal here in the 56th minute of the match. Florence with a nice fake shot there and then puts it into the back of the net to make it 2-1 but then unfortunately he does pretty much the seal the game here in the 62nd minute of the match. Jordi Alba again going down that side crossing it into the box and Luis Baptisto um, gets the goal there in the 63rd minute to make it 3-1 and that is how the episode does end. So we got six points in Division 3 so hopefully in the next episode we can push towards promotion and then possibly get another signing so it will help a lot with the uh, 5,000 coins from that hat trick and hopefully in the next episode we will get another hat trick if you guys want to put any other rewards that we should add to this series I don't want to add too many because that will be too easy I think the hat trick is quite difficult especially when we're in Division 3 now maybe moving on to Division 2 in the next episode so yeah if you did enjoy this episode it would be fantastic if you could smash the like button for that second informed signing smash the like button subscribe if you are new channel and see you soon Bye.